and welcome to Family Worship Online on this Palm Sunday morning. Before we get started with our service today, there's just a few things to let you know about that we are doing throughout this next week as we enter Holy Week. You may have already heard that on Thursday we are having, a, as a whole church, a day of prayer to reflect and think through as a follow-on from the prayer day that we did earlier on in the year. So if you'd like to sign up for that, there will be details of how to do that on our website. So do sign up for a half hour slot to pray then. We've also put together a family prayer guide to help lead you through that time as well, if you would like to use it. Then on Good Friday, between 10 and 12, we are having an outdoor Stations of the Cross walkthrough on the green outside Emmanuel. This is going to be a fantastic time for the whole family and, uh, and those without children as well to join together in walking through and experiencing the story of the journey to the cross. So do join us for that. You don't need to book and um, just turn up any time between 10 and 12 on Good Friday for the green outside of Emmanuel. Now, for the first section of our family worship video this morning, you need to go and find picture of you and someone famous or if you've never met someone famous perhaps a picture of somebody that you'd like to meet um, or perhaps a, a signed book or an autograph a signed photo and um, something special that reminds you of someone famous that you would like to meet so pause the video now go and find that and then bring it back and we'll use it for our next activity so i'm going to tell you a story Many years ago, I was the biggest fan of probably the best rock band in the world called U2. And I can remember very clearly when U2 were going to play a big concert um, near where I lived. And my friend and I, we just knew that we had to be there. We had to get some tickets, but it wasn't just as easy as getting tickets. You had to sit with your phone glued to your ear uh, for, for hours. I can remember it was at least two hours, not knowing whether you would get through and be one of those lucky people to get a ticket. And just amazingly, uh, somebody f um, picked up the phone eventually and uh, Bought some tickets. I had to pass over quite a lot of money, um, but it was all worth it because I was so excited. I'd never seen them before, um, and I was so excited that I was going to be able to see them play um, in a concert. Then we had to wait over a year to actually go and see them, and I can remember very clearly the day when it had finally arrived, and we got in the car and we drove down to Twickenham, uh, which is near London, and. Uh, the, there were huge queues because the whole world, it seemed, were they were coming to see you 2 as well. So it was hours and hours on, on the road to get there. But finally, we'd arrived and we were sitting. We got our seats. We were sitting, waiting for you 2 to get onto the stage. And there were thousands and thousands of people. And everybody was there to see this one band play their amazing music to us. And we were all so excited. It was electric. Um, and I can remember my heart thumping and I couldn't take the smile off my face. I was just so excited. And then all of a sudden there was a bit of drum, there was a bit of guitar and the best band in the world had arrived on stage. It was one of the most memorable times I had in my 20s when I was um, in my 20s. So my question to you is, um, and maybe your mums and dads can help out with this, is have you met anyone famous and how did it make you feel? Um, maybe you met uh, Peppa Pig at Peppa Pig World or, or something else like that. You might even learn something new about your mums and dads that they may have met some really interesting people in their lives. Um, if you can't think of anyone that, uh, famous that you've met, you could maybe think about who would you really like to meet if you could and why would you like to meet them? So just a, a couple of minutes just to talk with the people you're with. I hope you've learned something new about each other. Um, and now we're going to actually sing a brand new song and it's called 
wild for me. Your love is wild for me, wild for me, your love is wild for me. You gave it all for me, now I believe your love is wild for me. Whoa! There is a love that is calling out my name Raising me from death into life again Speaking to my soul of its destiny Your love is wild, God, it's wild for me Oh, Your love is wild, God, it's wild for me Your love is wild for me Wild for me, your love is wild for me You gave it Galilee parties and events, how may we help you? Hello, could you help me with an event uh, I'm organising, please? Oh, I'm sorry, the line isn't very clear, um, but I, I think you want us to organise an event for you? Um, let me open up the form. OK, so name? My name, Simon Peter. Mr Peter. And Mr Peter, is the event a wedding, birthday party, religious celebration or procession for a king? 
Well, I suppose Procession for a King is the closest match to the options that you've got there. Um, it's happening next weekend. I hope that's not too short notice. Mr Peter, for the King, we'll make it happen. Um, do you need catering? Luxury food and drink? A, a banqueting hall? I suppose a room for a private meal for 13 sounds about right, I guess. 13,000 guests. This is incredible. Uh, what about transportation? Uh, limousines, luxury coaches? No, uh, just a donkey, please. A Bentley. Excellent choice, sir. And any extra special requests, Mr Peter? Uh, oh, keep it simple, please. I don't need the full works. Pardon, Mr Peter, you broke off just for a second there. Uh, I said simple, do not need the full works. Absolutely, sir. Simple donuts and fireworks. Uh, and your budget, sir. How much money would you like to spend on this event? Money? Oh, no, I've got no budget. I'm on a shoestring. Understood, sir. Money is no object, lots of bling. Excellent. Well, sir, we're really looking forward to this. I'll give you a call in a few days on this number uh, to confirm arrangements. Bye for now. Thanks. Bye. Hello, this is Simon Peter. Mr Peter, hello. The phone line is a lot clearer today. Uh, this is Galilee Events and Parties, here just confirming arrangements for the procession for the King this weekend. We've got everything lined up, just as we have discussed. Plus, as we really value your business, we've thrown in a few extras free of charge, such as, wait for it, a red carpet, a 100-piece orchestra, five-star hotel accommodation, and a state-of-the-art media centre for TV, radio and social media. Oh, wow, thank you. That's very generous. But um, I really just wanted a donkey. Donkey? A donkey for the king. Jesus and his friends were coming closer to Jerusalem. They stopped at a hill called the Mount of Olives and Jesus sent two of his friends into a town. He told them that when they got there they would see a donkey tied up. He told them to take the donkey and if anyone asked what they were doing they were to say that the master needs it and he will send it back soon. This was because of a prophecy that said your king is coming to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. They brought the donkey back to Jesus and then laid their coats over it for Jesus to sit on. Then other people laid their coats over the road and cut branches from trees to wave. A large crowd gathered in front and around Jesus and all the people were shouting, Praise to the Son of David! God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise to God in heaven. Then Jesus went into Jerusalem, and the whole city was filled with excitement. People were telling each other that this was Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. In today's passage, we hear how there were crowds of people who were walking with Jesus, welcoming him into Jerusalem. Lots of people would have been in Jerusalem or on their way to Jerusalem at that time anyway because it was the time for the Passover festival. But not everyone who arrived in Jerusalem would have received such a, a warm welcome as Jesus did, well, at least from some people anyway. There were people in the crowds who were throwing down their clothes, waving palm branches, shouting and praising 
Jesus and welcoming him as the king. However, some people in the crowd did not share the same joy and excitement. Some people were not happy that Jesus was coming to be celebrated as a king, as the son of David. And in the midst of this, we see Jesus riding on a donkey, not a mode of transport that a king would choose. Can you imagine if a famous celebrity today, perhaps the person that you thought of at the beginning, can you imagine if they arrived in Loughborough or wherever you were going to see them, not on a helicopter or in a limousine or in a, a fancy car, Instead, they arrived on a bike, a push bike that was borrowed from a delivery drive, a delivery rider. It doesn't give quite the same impression of a welcome and a king that's coming. But Jesus came as a humble king. He came as a servant king. He came to serve others and to seek and save the lost. Not as a mighty warrior riding on a horse and chariot, as some of the people may have hoped for, a, a king who would come and defeat the Romans. Jesus came for you and for me. And as we enter Holy Week, we're going to think a bit more about how and why Jesus came to save each and every one of us. But for now, let's stay in that moment of celebration with the crowd. The crowd who praised and welcomed Jesus, the humble king who rode on a donkey. So this week for our prayers, we're actually going to make a prayer in a praise tree. So just like the people praised Jesus as he entered Jerusalem, we're going to spend this week of Holy Week praising Jesus and our God in the same way. So what you're going to do is you're going to make this prayer tree. Now you might have an Easter tree at home, which you can use instead. But if you haven't, all you'll need to do is to get some sticks from the garden or maybe go on a walk and get some sticks if you haven't got sticks in your garden. You need a pot with some compost and some stones in the middle. And you just do what I've done, which is put the sticks in, firm them down with some stones. And then what you're going to do is take some paper and cut it out into leaf shapes. So I've got some shiny paper here and some plain paper. And then just write your prayers of praise on, on the paper. So um, I'm going to write on this one. Thank you for forgiving me. Okay, and when you've done that, you're just going to thread them onto the branches. And during the week, you can add more and more praises and prayers onto your branches. So let's pause the video now, go and gather your sticks and everything that you need. And then when you come back, press play and listen to the song as you write your prayers. Think about everything that Jesus has done for you and how amazing he is. is the story of the cross the father loved us all so much that when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very best and he died for all of us this is the story of the cross that we were broken we were lost so then you build a bridge to us, took our hand, led us across. Oh, I'll never know the cost. If I said thank you a million times, it's not enough. But I'll sing praises for all my life, cause I'm in love.
This is the meaning of the cross That I am now a friend of God Oh, even at my loneliest There's no greater love than this You took the nails to hold me close If I said thank you a million times It's not enough But I'll sing praises for all my life Cause I'm in love with you Whoa, amazing grace Whoa, you took my place Whoa, now I am changed By your mercy, your kindness, Lord Whoa, This is the story of the cross The Father loved us so, so much That when we did our very worst Jesus gave his very breast And he died for all of us As we draw to a close in our family worship service now there's going to be a few activities pop up on the screen that you might like to explore and uh, have a go at either later on today or perhaps throughout Holy Week to help you to continue to think about the themes that we've been talking about this morning and to help you to prepare for Jesus' death and resurrection that we celebrate at the end of this week. Shall we finish our time together now with a prayer? Dear God, we thank you for this time we've spent worshipping you this morning. Please help us to continue to lift up our voices in praise and worship to you this week as we remember the great sacrifice you made for each one of us by sending Jesus down to earth to save us from our sins. Amen. Just a quick reminder, there's no family worship service next week. Uh, we're encouraging everybody to join together um, in worshipping as a whole church congregation next week um, at our 10 o'clock Easter Sunday morning service. That will be live streamed uh, or you can attend, attend in person as well if you wish to. We really hope to see you soon and hope you have a brilliant week. Thank you for joining us. Bye.